my name is Jessica Goldschlager, and today we are going to talk about the normal distribution and the 6895-99.7 rule. So first, let's look at the problem. It says that the graph illustrates a normal distribution for the prices paid for a particular model of HD television. The mean price paid is $1,600 and the standard deviation is $90. So I'm guessing that the graph that the problem is referring to is just the normal curve or the normal distribution, which I have attempted to draw right here. And so first we want to recreate the normal distribution or the normal curve for this particular problem because then we can go ahead and answer the problems A through F. So first we want to look at what the middle of the curve is going to be. And that's going to be 1600 because the mean value is always the middle of the curve. One standard deviation above 1600 is just going to be 1600 plus 90 based on the question, which is 1690. Two standard deviations is just going to be 1690 plus 90. Three standard deviations above is just 1780 plus 90, which is 1870. Let's do the other half of the graph. 1600 minus 90 is 1510. So one standard deviation below 1600 is 1510. Two standard deviations below is 1420. And three standard deviations below is 1330. So looking at the 6895, 99.7 rule, all this means is that 68% of the data values is going to be within one standard deviation of the mean, which is 1600. So 68% of the data values are here. Do, do, do. Writing this in for you guys. Uh, again, so then 95% of the data values do, 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 are within two standard deviations. So between 1420 and 1780 in this problem. And finally, based on the 6895-99.7 rule, 99.7% of the data values are within three standard deviations of the mean. So that should write 95.7. So let's go ahead and 99.7, sorry. Look at A. A states, what is the approximate percentage of buyers who pay between 1510 and 1690? Based on our graph, that's 68%. And so if we were to skip ahead to F, because I feel like that will be easier to solve now, was the approximate percentage of buyers who pay between 1510 and 1600? That would just be half of 68, because we're looking at this right now, right here. 68 divided by 2 is 34. So for F, it's going to be 34%. Okay, and then finally, we're going to solve B. Was the approximate percentage of buyers who paid between 1420 and 1600? So if 95% of the values is between 1420 and 1780, half of that would just be 47.5. So between 1420 and 1600, right here, is 47.5% of the value, so the answer to B is 47.5. Based on the information I provided, you will hopefully be able to solve C, D, and E. However, there's so much, there's only so much I can cover in five minutes. So if you have any other questions, please go ahead and contact me and have a fantastic night.